In just two days, Josh Cassidy went from freezing temperatures at his home near Toronto to the intense summer heat in Australia, and that's exactly what he was hoping for. The chance to prepare alongside Kurt Fernley brought him to Newcastle. It's just so much better pushing with someone else and someone of Kurt's calibre is just, it's really beneficial for both of us. Fernley is back in full-time training after his honeymoon, but as he demonstrated this morning, his fitness hasn't suffered. Kurt admits 2010 was personally fulfilling, but wasn't his best year in the chair. So he's putting his head down in an effort to keep his rivals at bay. I find this is the best place that I've found anywhere to train, and if you get other wheelchair races here, it just makes it a little bit more intense. In the meantime, he's working on getting Josh and the rest of the world's best here more often. Oh, I'd love to get 10 or 11 guys out here and be training in a pack and, you know, pushing by schools and having kids look up and realising that there's, you know, this is a pretty good way to live. On a day like this, it's hard to argue. Definitely. Just that last bit coming down to the, the cafe here was just gorgeous, seeing the beach and uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's awesome to just have a push and have scenery like this.